Having glizzies and fries by the border side. So, <clears throat> what time is this ain't on your phone? Ashe. Ashe. 2020. 2020. That's 820 p.m. 2020 if you are in full military time. Excuse me, which we all should be in. I'm doing uh, this. Oh, there's a lot of bugs biting my ankles let me stand up for a second cover my fries <laughs> i went to a place called hot dog you know how i love the craziness of the english words hot was spelled h-a-u-t-e as i had attached many pictures we took outside if i decided to come over here the other side is uh merlin and like back that way is DC and this is Virginia so like we're on the southern part of Maryland and DC and northern part of Virginia Mount Vernon is this side of Virginia so this side of the water is Virginia over there is Maryland and back way way back there when we go across the bridge and uh, the northern <laughs> the northern uh what am i trying to say y'all going north is dc is virginia south of dc anyway enough of the geometry lesson <laughs> the geography lesson and you know mercury's out of his shadow and i'm still stumbling over my words it must be because i want i got a powerful message for you mercury's in gemini which means it's home mars is in aries which means it's home get ready to go on the tourist though i think Yes, and uh, Venus is in Taurus, which means all the inner planets that are closest to the sun are in Taurus. The sun will be in home in its home sign in 29 days because today's the first day of cancer season, which is the moon's home sign. The moon will be in its home sign when the new moon happens on June 28th, I believe, or 29th, depending on where you are. But, um, Happy cancer season. My Krabby Patty back there will be 10 in 21 days. Uh, happy solar return to all cancers. We came out here because this is the, sol the summer solstice, the longest day of the year. Again, it's probably 825 now. And it's still pretty light out here. I got to be in light for another 30 minutes. The sun has pretty much set. But it's still pretty light. You might hear uh, the airplanes back there. That's National Airport, Reagan National. <sighs> Didn't want to make this too long because I have uh, part two of traveling DC on June 15th, uh, which was almost a week ago, last Wednesday, when me and Zane went downtown and saw some new things like the wall is up um another planet that's not an inner planet but it's an outer planet still the outer planet deals with the whole collective all of us um neptune is in pisces so neptune in pisces is literally showing us big illusions um big false flags um i don't know if uh have many of my dc folks watching this oh that bird just shot everywhere <laughs> Let me watch out. It's a big-ass seagull flying around. <laughs> um, but yeah, Neptune and Pisces. It's home in Pisces, so big illusions, big uh, celebrity type of uh, actions taking place with Jupiter and Aries. So uh, Jupiter it's not necessarily doing anything with Pisces, but they're next to each other. Aries is the beginning of the Zodiac. Pisces is the end. So Neptune is really wrapping up things, wrapping up these illusions. Neptune, I believe, moves into Aries in 2024, late 2024, 2025. 
So things are wrapping up, y'all. <laughs> and while they wrap up, they get even more crazier. So we have false flags. Like some things aren't false flags. Some things are actually staged. All of it is based on this movie going on. Neptune has to deal with illusions. Neptune has to deal with um, celebrities. Has to deal with escapism. Escaping from the truth. And we are literally at the wrap up of it. We're literally at the wrap up of it. So, um, Mochella happened in D.C. For the illusion of Juneteenth. I did a piece on Juneteenth. I don't need to go back into that. I don't want to give it too much light because it's not deserving. But um, there was a shooting there. Now, while there's always shootings at Mochella's and there's always shootings at outdoor events in the summertime when it gets hot in D.C., this one um, is now, as you can see in the clip I'm about to post. So even though Pharrell gave my cousin um, $3,000 check for being a black entrepreneur winning third place, congratulations to Zion Roar. My cousin Austin owns that company. My daughter, Milan, works for um, him too with his company. He was given $3,000. But if you notice in the picture, Pharrell was not smiling because that really wasn't Pharrell. <laughs> so this is what I mean about celebrities putting on their final acts to give you all these illusions that you just won't let go of. You're trying to escape from the truth. You don't want to know that these celebrities have fooled you. You don't want to know that these are really illusions and not another person coming up while you watch them instead of taking the action, Jupiter. So when Neptune moves into Aries, more of these illusions you'll take action on becoming your true dreams. So uh, Neptune has to do with dreams too. So we're watching celebrities' dreams but not creating our own. That's what Neptune and Aries will help us with in the next couple of years but of course things have to wrap up so uh, I guess the cologne of Pharrell the double of Pharrell is wrapping up <clears throat> his accounts with giving out money but then we have um, the whole Motella scene happened and it was not authorized it became a not authorized event meaning oh the hood is out there the go goes every time there's a go go in DC they try to create some trouble around it can't just play great music live um and then a couple of people brought out new albums haven't heard them at all saw the picture of beyonce sitting on that red horse and all the tiktoks of the, how the bible talks about it not interested in none of that because none of those people are real to me real illusions so great somebody brought out their music called themselves them i have no concern or care for any of that that's Neptune and Pisces <laughs> so just be prepared for these things to be wrapping up <clears throat> by the time it gets to that 29th degree in, in a couple of years <sighs> y'all be ready to go by then <laughs> y'all oh oh the illusion of, of Joe Biden falling off the bike it's been a lot of illusions <laughs> let's go into the inner planets leave the outer planets alone for a minute we have Mercury in uh, Gemini sextile and now sextiles are like uh what cam newton said cam newton i keep calling him that football player's name cam white the astrologer said inner planets um and sextiles sextiles are like someone giving you a helping hand from like the upper way while you're like um you know how some people you see in that picture where there's a bunch of people standing and they're all holding each other's hands from your hand the palm up a trine is like let me jump in and take over this for you but it's something that you want to happen it's a quick reaction like okay i got this it's the overhand the overhand blessing <laughs> while the sextiles are underhand blessing so mercury is sextiling and gemini is sextiling um jupiter and aries so expect a lot of help expect if you tap into this energy, uh, let me re re remember, because I got to tap into my own energy to make my own manifestations. So while I tell you this, I'm trying to work on it myself. 
but um this is a good time to manifest things especially with the, the sun and cancer especially things that have to do with your family um nurturing yourself and others in your family taking care of your household cancer type things now <clears throat> with venus in taurus there was a uh, square with Venus and Saturn in Aquarius and retrograde. Neptune is also about to go into retrograde too. We'll talk about that another time though. But um, that square, I believe, because fixed signs, Venus and Taurus, being home, all your senses are being satisfied right now. If you have Venus and Taurus, you're being satisfied. If you have Venus and Scorpio like me, <laughs> you're still being um, celibate. Like I'm satisfied and take self self pleasuring myself, but you know <laughs> those things are kind of ending because Venus is in Taurus. Um, it is not. It is. I'm sorry. It is sextiling the Sun and Cancer, so shining a light on all the things that are pleasurable. But uh, once Venus goes into Gemini, that's what's moving soon. Now Mars, Venus is getting ready to leave its home sign Taurus and go to Gemini soon, and that's still good because. You can communicate a lot better with Venus and Gemini. You can uh, communicate about all your senses being met. What you want to smell, what you want to eat, what you want, how you want to feel, what you want to, who you want to touch you, all those kind of things. So this sextile will be good. Um, trining with Venus and Taurus before it leaves Pluto and Capricorn. Transforming all your pleasures. Um, nothing of Virgo that I can think of right now. Sextiling. So sextiling happens with um, compatible signs, earth and water, and fire and air. So um, Venus is already, because it's at the end degrees. I'll put up the chart at the end of this too. I'm talking off the top of my head as I usually do. But definitely know it's sextile sun before it moves into, uh, it couldn't be, sorry. Because the sun is moving into Cancer and Venus is ready to move out of Taurus. Anyway, <laughs> well, I'll come back for this new moon in Cancer by the end of this week. Um, get ready to drop part two of that's tour in the city. Um, Roe versus Wade. We've been waiting on that. They've been delaying it. So as soon as that drops, hopefully this week, I'll show you what the town looks like. <laughs> what's going to go down with all these Neptune illusions coming to a close. That's one of them because Roe basically lied, and that's why they have to reverse it. No abortion. I'm about to be a grandma anyway, and my baby's coming. Not going with no cabals. <laughs> All right, y'all. I always wear my Crocs. Don't no, don't, don't come for me because from ankle up, I'm cute. Kids are season. All right. We're coming into the decade, the long stretch for Zane. 10 in 21 days. Woo -woo. Yay! Is it 21? It's the day. What's up, bro? I don't know. There you go, showstopper. I see you. Oh, you like it? Uh, Jump up another one. Oh, that's another one. Come jump up. Yay. He said his name is Gerald. He is hanging out with us. He's been hanging out with us for. Oh, as soon as I say something, he's going away. He said, let me go. Nah, he said, you're bro. taking too long to go down to the tree I want to go to. <laughs> hey, come here. <laughs> you were about to go to the tree, bro. <laughs> See how cancer's cling? Won't even let the thing free fly. <laughs> okay, that was not cool. <laughs> Still messing with Gerald. What's up, Gerald? <laughs> Bye-bye, Gerald. <laughs>